This behavior is not okay. Next the or this. I'm out! She's How about taking that? your car apart! Or this. <laughs> Welcome back to TLC, where domestic abuse is just a form of entertainment and not actually a concern for somebody's safety. Look, I've always said that 90 Day Fiancé is my favorite form of trash TV, but it wasn't always this trashy. In fact, it used to actually be an entertaining and educational show that showcased a blending of cultures. And you got to learn about a culture that maybe you've never even heard of before. Or at least that's what I used to think about it, but now, yeah, it's mostly just trash TV. And that's because the franchise decided to put people like this on the show. Great. But out of all of those people, we will be focusing on the angry deflated ball sack called Angela and Michael. Angela and Michael's story started out just as innocent and genuine as most of the couples on the show. We were first introduced to them on 90 Day Fiance before the 90 days on season two, where Angela flies to Nigeria to meet Michael. And actually, a matter of fact, I remember when this first aired, I actually felt bad for Angela and I thought that she was getting scammed. But as I continued to watch how mean, abusive, and controlling she really is, that feeling quickly faded and I began to feel really sorry for Michael. However, they did end up getting married in Nigeria and continued a long distance relationship as they sorted out Michael's visa process. And in the beginning, everything seemed kind of somewhat normal until she shows her first sign of control, which is the fact that he didn't have a picture of her on his phone. It's not on your phone, Michael. I, I just don't understand why you didn't already do it. I believe when cops in this region see a young man with a female lady, that white lady, on his phone, they could get him arrested. And that was literally just the beginning as everything kind of went downhill after this moment. There was a point where his friends tried to warn him about Angela. Seriously, I'm, I'm a bit concerned about your, your life. You're way too I'm possessive more... and boss. It's well, so well, funny. Calm down. Is that Stop funny? It. Is that funny? So of course, naturally, Angela makes Michael stop being friends with them and also nicknamed them the goofballs. She also made him quit his job because of her jealousy issues. Now granted, early in the season, he did admit to cheating on her. I did the no, for real. I, I confess to her that I did it. And if she didn't trust him anymore, then she should have just left him back then, but she didn't. Since he wasn't working, she was providing all of his income, which means she was basically controlling how much money he had, and who knows how often she held that over his head. I've always provided Michael with enough money to live on so he can make payments on his car, keep his phone on, have a TV. She seemingly isolated him from everyone and just wanted him to be at home. She didn't allow him to have Instagram or social media. And this is just like an ongoing battle in their relationship. Like this started out really early and it was a continuous problem throughout their relationship. Why? Because you're following too many damn women, Michael. Promise me you'll stop all the following of the women. You're talking to women on your IG. How? You got bitches in your phone, you're No scared. bitches, stop it. Let ah. me see. The social media, the IG. I want us to have like a doubled income. And I told okay. you no. She won't delete uh, social media for me, so why should I delete mine for her? Go play on Instagram. God forbid he follows a woman on Instagram. Are we 12? You're 58 years old. Get it together. Anytime she lashed out at him, of course, it was his fault. Yes, she blamed him and that he needs to fix it. Now, come on. Let's see if you can fix this. You better talk because you know what you did. You did all this to me. She had all of these jealousy issues but yet when she gets caught flirting with her plastic surgeon doctor. You smell good. <laughs> I first seen Dr. Obain, my first impression is, are you married? <laughs> These are too handsome to be my daughter. Or her online friend, Billy, who she admitted that she had a crush on, by the way. Hi, Billy. Hey, Angel. Billy, I wanna ask, did you even know my wife even have a crush on you? But if Michael did that, she would not allow it for a second. She would flip out at the fact that he's even talking to a girl, let alone looking at a girl, let alone breathing the same air as another girl that isn't her. That's not fair. If the roles were reversed in how Angela treats Michael and Angela was the man and Michael was the woman, you think TLC would let this go on as long as it did? I don't think so. 
She didn't respect his family. Angela, Angela, you pay you guys no business. You don't talk to now. me like that. As I'm a American. That gets you want to touch the camera. You calm down. Not you to shut up. You won't tell her I will. Start of respect for you your husband. Get, I ain't respecting you. Your better husband. respect That's... me. The list could go on. Not to mention all of the verbal and physical abuse that was captured on the show. This the f I'm going to be a Why are you doing this? There's your cake, Michael. I bought you cool. I don't want your fucking joke. Michael, Angie, I'm going Angie, to hit you listen. right in your mouth. I don't need this ugly son of a <laughs> Listen, here's the deal. You're an ugly son of a Son of a Son of a Son of a Because you're an idiot! That was just a goddamn appetizer, mother You know Stop it. Your ass hurt. You know this. Stop it. Listen. Go out your business, Huffer. You mother and Lord knows what goes on off camera. And I also wonder if TLC has footage that they just didn't air because it's too abusive to show. Not only is this type of behavior just unacceptable, but it could have and should have been intervened by someone from TLC production. Because Angela's got some problems. I'm not sure if it's the fame that got to her head or the confidence from losing a bunch of weight and getting surgery, or maybe if she's doing some sort of substance or drug that makes her lash out all the time. I don't know, this is all alleged. This is all just my take on everything. I don't know if she's using any drugs or substances, but this behavior is not normal. She even calls herself the queen of reality TV, which is just false. <laughs> Anyway, as Angela and Michael were waiting for his visa to get approved, Angela went batshit crazy yet again and stole his phone, accused him of scamming her, and threatened to put him in jail. This guy got the proof. That's why you can go to jail over here, bitch. You always got an answer. I'm so tired of your lies. Hotel security. Yeah, take my phone. Take that phone all over some innocent stuff that she did not understand because she never really cared to learn about Michael's culture. And it was just a big misunderstanding, but she still reacted like this. Give me the phone. I'm not giving you anything. Give me no, your no, phone. No, no. Give me the phone. Get the I'm phone done. from him. Get the phone. Get it. No, no. Get the phone. No. Give me my phone. Michael, give me the phone. No, this is my phone. No, it's no. mine. No, it's mine. If you thought he was scamming you, why would you stay in the relationship? Oh my God. <laughs> Michael did finally make it to the United States after seven long, patient years putting up with Angela's erratic behavior, and unfortunately things seemed to only get worse from there. Angela wanted complete control over Michael. At least that's my perspective of it. She didn't treat him like a person, she treated him like he was property. Everything that was his was now hers. His car, his phone, his visa his personal documents. Yes, my visa. She brought him to the United States and wanted him to just clean up after her, do her chores, take care of her grandkids. The way she treated and talked to him rubbed me the wrong way. And to be quite honest, it reminded me of a master and a slave. The way she talked to him was like, you're mine and you're gonna do exactly what I want you to do or else I'm going to abuse you, essentially. And that's exactly what the fuck happened. I don't know if that was her mindset. I know she's a Trump supporter. I know she's really America, USA. I'm an American. Land of the free. Cause I pay taxes, mother Something you ain't paid, bitch. I don't know if that was her conscious intention, but the way it looks from an audience member, that shit looks so fucked up. This man is a human being. He's not your fucking servant. He's not your slave. He's not your fucking maid. He's supposed to be your husband. She always talks about how they're equals. You know, that's my husband. I'm, I'm equal to him. We're equals? Then treat him like an equal. The way she treats m her husband, Michael, and the way she treated Billy, who was a white man, or at least he looked white. I don't know what race he is, but he lived in Canada. She was so much more respectful to him. Like, you're just an amazing man, period. I don't know if she would have treated just anybody like this or if it's just because he's a black man from Africa. I don't know. This is just me as an audience member assuming and it rubbed me the wrong way. It just was disgusting to watch. There's a scene where he's finally in America and they go out to eat with her daughter Skyla and she orders his food for him when he wanted something else but she's like no you're gonna you're gonna order this. 
this. I want you to try the shrimp and grits. Chicken fingers. No, grits <laughs> and shrimp. And this is real food. It's not like back at home, the freaking hooves, the big old snails. My food back home is also real, OK? He clearly did not like it. I mean, it's not nasty, right? It's OK. What is this? I mean, this is not it. And then she made him take a bite of her food, to which he also didn't really seem to like. And he had like a piece of meat on his teeth or on his lip or something. And he just did one of these like, you know, like getting like the, the crumb off of your lip, whatever, like one of those like not spitting or anything like that. Not it was just a little, you know, and she blew it out of proportion and accused him of spitting on the wall and calling him disrespectful. And then she proceeds to spit on him. That's what you know. No, like, why would you? I don't know how someone could put up with that for so long. And look, I understand that Michael was not the greatest partner ever. He did get caught in a couple of lies. He did admit to cheating on her. And I don't think that that should go unnoticed. However, like I said, just leave him then. Leave him. What are you sticking around for? Why stay with someone that you're constantly questioning, you can't seem to trust, and you can never forgive? What's the point? Why continue this relationship just to abuse him? I feel like she got some sort of like kick out of it because it seemed like no matter what Michael did, she would never forgive him. Like why would you want to be angry and miserable your whole life? I don't truly know what Michael's honest intentions were with Angela or why he didn't just leave either. A lot of people thought that maybe he was scamming her for a green card while others actually did think that he fell in love with her. Whatever the reason, I 100% believe that he deserves to stay in the United States. After putting up with the humiliation, the abuse, the embarrassment, I don't care what anyone says, someone get this man a US citizenship right now. Angela had so many opportunities to pull the visa or end the marriage, but she didn't. And now she's reaping what she sows. Now on the most recent tell-all that just aired, we see that Angela hired a private investigator to look at his entire background and his internet footprint, per se. And guess what? He found nothing. Out of all that paperwork that you brought here with you today, did you find anything at all to make you suspect that Michael is scamming Angela? That's a lot of digging. That's pretty much his life that I've been able to uncover. I don't have anything. Man. Hi. No signs he's scamming her, no red flags, nada. So what does Angela do? She gets mad. She gets angry. She yells. I don't care. She I don't care. You. Because we can, you know we why? Can we didn't all... have enough time to get it all. This ain't, this ain't, he ain't but, had enough but, time. But, this is two weeks investigation. So Even though she just said if she's proven wrong, she'll forgive him or something. Skyla. Your, your mom said that if the private investigator did not find any evidence of Michael cheating, that she would trust him. Even with cold, hard evidence right in front of her, she could not forgive him or believe him. I don't see any reason why Angela should be suspicious of Michael or his behavior. But a concern that I have is how adamant she is about wanting to find a lie or something wrong in the report. It's almost like, She's not willing to accept the truth. Have we had enough time to really dig? No, we haven't. Then let him go, you know? Let him go. Let him go, let him go. I've never even seen Frozen. I don't know what I'm doing. And speaking of the most recent tell-all, can we just talk about how horrible the format was? For those who don't know, the tell-all is the thing at the end of the season where everyone comes back and kind of airs out their tea, gives you life updates, answers questions, all that. They had all the couples stay in a house, which would be cool as its own show, I suppose. It was entertaining, but for the tell-all, that takes away time that we could be asking some juicy questions. Not that Sean ever does that, but but then on the last episode right in the middle of it halfway through it shows everyone leaving everyone's saying goodbye going home and then they're like stick around for the couples tell more where we show you behind the scenes extras and it's like why didn't you just put these in with the tell-all like what's the point of that and they were just dumb <laughs> and then within that same episode the last three minutes are dedicated to an update of Michael and Angela. At the very, very end, the last like three minutes. Huh? Three minutes? Something I forgot to mention is that they didn't upload the tell-all to streaming sites until all five parts were aired. What you need a five-part tell-all for? They air on Sundays. That's five 
weeks. People pay for streaming sites like Discovery Plus just to watch 90 Day Fiance, which we just canceled our Discovery Plus because they're doing the same thing with the new season. They're not airing the episodes at the time that they're supposed to air in real time. I don't get it. So yeah, I got beef with TLC and Discovery Plus. The format was just messy and it, it just was unorganized. I did not like it at all. And every scene of Angela is just her humiliating and yelling at Michael. You don't get out my sight. You got all these people out there in the goddamn world thinking I'm a bitch and I'm a good hearted mother And you've been a piece of Go home. There is a problem here. Do not get in my I done told you I don't get in my Man. You expect me to bitch? Mother you know, no. Get so your and get out of my house. This is my house. My house? I... And they just think I'm crazy because their wives and their situation ain't never been as bad as ours. You would come to goddamn America and get the visa. How do you think I'm supposed to forget that? You want I won't a visa? Right here, right now. Listen, I have told listen. You this. Some of the cast members noticed this and were concerned right away. Angela. You've always disrespected your husband in public, every single place. See how you're not taking up for me? Tell okay. him to hush. I feel so bad for him. Like, that, like I don't know, yeah. like when you come here That's and then crazy, you have a man. person telling you that it is your visa. Like and others just thought, meh, it's just Angela. They thought yeah. nothing of it. I heard that the tell-all was filmed in February of this year, which is also the same time that Michael was accused of going missing, which I made a video on that if you want to watch it. Angela was like making all these posts and spreading the word that Michael's missing, making it seem as though she wasn't the reason he escaped from her. So in this little three minute update, we hear Michael's side of the story. After the, the tell-all, went back home, my wife Angie, you know, she got angry, she started giving me attitude and uh, saying all sorts of things to me. So it got to a point I uh, just had to leave. I worked for about five hours. I was so, so, so tired. My leg was as if it almost fell off me. You know, at some point I almost got beaten by, by a dog. I begged the man that if I can make use of his phone and uh, I was able to reach out to one or two of my friends and they assisted me to get to a bus station. I spent about 18 hours down the road to, to where I am now. I mean, no one deserves to be treated this way. Which I am glad that they included, but three minutes? Really? And you chopped up the video? That little fade transition that you do may fool some people, but not me. I noticed it. It makes me wonder what they cut out. Like, just let the raw footage run, damn. Meanwhile, Angela's talking about how this is her biggest nightmare and that she will see Michael soon, whatever that means. I'll see you soon, Michael. I'll see you soon. See you soon. And the fact that TLC doesn't even acknowledge that the reason Michael escaped Angela was because of domestic abuse is crazy and extremely disappointing as a viewer. They could have at least included a domestic abuse hotline at the end or some sort of message like, come on, you could have gave us something. Because the fact that they don't acknowledge that could give some audience members the perspective like, hey, this behavior's normal. It's not, by the way, it's not. I also really feel like they should have gave Michael more screen time than just three minutes because I'm sure he has way more horror stories than what he just shared and I just would love for her ass to get exposed. Again, she treated him like her property and she didn't want him to have any freedom. Even the way he escaped from her is on some underground railroad type shit. Like he had to walk five hours and then take a bus to go to wherever he went. He didn't have a phone. He almost got bit by a dog. Like he's begging people to give him a ride. Like that's just, crazy because i'm sure if he just tried to casually leave angela would not have allowed that as most abusers probably wouldn't want their victim to leave and she probably would have like punished him somehow i don't know and even now that he's finally gone he's living his own life she still will not let it go i personally just think she's obsessed with having control over this man and i'm really glad they didn't disclose michael's location because i know angela's crazy ass would go on a plane and show up wherever he is and probably try to fight him or something because she She's crazy. So now Angela is filing an annulment, which for those who don't know, an annulment is just basically erasing a marriage as if it never happened. And she's trying to get Michael sent back home to Nigeria. 
And Michael just raised about $46,000 on a GoFundMe to hire a lawyer and fight back. His goal, by the way, was $25,000 and he made almost double that. And I know a lot of 90 Day Fiance cast members are known for creating GoFundMe pages and some of them even lie about what the money is for. <clears throat> Mary and Brandon. <clears throat> <clears throat> Excuse me, but this is a GoFundMe that I can't really hate on and the fact that he made so much more than what he was asking for Just goes to show how much support he really has and of course Angela found out about it and made a TikTok about it Oh my god, did you see Michael Vegas go? What is wrong with the United States of America? I'm totally ashamed right now. Who is Michael Vegas? Who is Michael Vegas? Who is Michael Kids, sick mom, our veterans out there that don't even get 25,000. Wake up, America. This is unacceptable. Of course, she's playing the angle of, wake up, America. Come on, Americans, what are we doing helping out a Nigerian man? Just crown up thought, guys. 25,000. Congratulations, Michael. You're gonna need it. Her teeth just creep me out a little bit. I don't know what's going on in her bottom gums, but that shit is just yikes. So after watching this, I kind of creeped on her TikTok a little bit more just to see what type of stuff she posts. I thought she would post like more talking videos, but it's just stuff like this. And there's also one of when her and Michael were together. The fact that the filter is just like on Michael too. It's just such an uncom- They're in a public place. There's people behind them having a conversation and she's just like, I'm all alone. Oh, I love you, honey. Like, what are we doing? To all you lion son of a biscuit eaters out there. What'd she say? Lion son of a biscuit eaters out there. Biscuit eaters? Keep lying. I'm gonna stand strong. Keep making money off me. Keep making content. Joke's on you. I'm not making any money from this. I'm talking about you for free. <laughs> for the greater good. Because at the end of the day, people know who I am that know me. You don't know me. And I don't want you to know me. I don't want to know you either, girl. I know all I need to know from seeing you on television. No thanks. Defamation, defamation of character is real too. Crazy for her to say defamation of character is real when she defamed her own character, honestly. No one has to do that for her, she did it herself. And can we just take a moment to appreciate this filter? <laughs> Meanwhile on Michael's TikTok, he's just living his best life, cooking, dancing, non-stop smiles for this man. I love to see it. And what's crazy is that I almost always take the woman's side in situations. I like to be a girl's girl. I'm almost always gonna be supporting the woman. However, when I see this type of behavior, it's just, it's wrong. And there's no way in hell I'm gonna stand behind someone like that. Even if the man cheated on her, that's not okay either. I don't support that action, but you cannot treat someone like that. And TLC, do better and take people like Angela and Little Ed off of the show. We didn't really talk about him at all, but I just hate him. I don't want him on the show anymore. I don't wanna see him on my screen, take him off. And while you're at it, do even better by telling the full, true story instead of just trying to brush it off as entertainment. What we all witnessed for the past six years was domestic abuse, period. Recognize that, TLC. We're in 2024, and the fact that this is just getting glazed over like it's just an entertaining relationship, nah, this is abuse. And the fact that TLC let this go on for so long just for some damn ratings is sad and kind of inhumane. So TLC, if y'all need a new business operations person or whoever makes the decisions, I just got laid off. And y'all are looking pretty bad right now, but don't worry, I can switch this around for you. First order of business, we cut all of these people from the show and maybe more. Next order of business, we run background checks on people before we put them on the show. Last order of business, I am the new host of all of the tell-alls. Sorry, Sean. Well, okay. But in all seriousness, I hope Michael ends up safe and happy wherever he is. I hope he beats this court case. And I hope he finds a good therapist because I'm sure this man is traumatized. And Angela, I hope she just gets with coming to her. You know, I, I would say I hope she gets anger management, but I don't think she will. So I guess we'll just see what happens. Whew, this was 
a lot. This wasn't even everything, but I don't want this video to be too, too long. So yeah, this is what we're getting. Let me know your thoughts on the situation. If there's any point that I didn't make that you wanna include, go ahead and comment it down below. If you watch this whole thing, I appreciate you. My name is Maddie, Maddie the Batty, your new favorite YouTuber, hello. If you wanna subscribe, the button is down there. And hopefully I will see you in my next video. Bye.